This is a test of the little jackalope test. If any of you guys can hear me, please tell me which number game the final scene is. Great, you guys can hear me. Okay, finally. All right. I'm going to switch over. Yay. Okay, this is a test. Where am I looking? Oh, there's the camera. <laughs> Can you guys see me? If so, tell me uh, what color combination shirt I'm wearing right now. Oh, hey, I see me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, great. We have all the things working. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Okay, great. You see me. Uh, okay. I'm going to mute my feed here because I can hear myself. I got back, so. Okay. All right, you guys. Welcome to our second live streaming of Nancy Drew Games here on Twitch. We, uh, we played The Secret of Shadow Ranch last month, and now we are going to play the final scene for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I asked for your guys' vote a while ago with the last stream. It came down to two games. It came down to Curse of Life and Manor and the final scene. And since the final scene um, takes place in three days, just like the Shadow Ranch game took place in three days, we're going to do that. We're going to go with the final scene because it's broken up into three days. What we're going to do today is we are going to go through day one. And there will be a transition phase. If you haven't played the game yet, there is a transition phase. So just a few things. Oh, thanks, you guys. I'm seeing your I'm seeing your feed down here. Hello, Summer. I remember you too. I miss you guys. Yes. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. Um, if you guys could, uh, you guys are willing or are uh, bleh, you guys are welcome to chime in on the chat. But please don't give any spoilers throughout the game in case there's anyone new who's watching who hasn't played the game before. Spoilers include who the culprit is and things that are going to happen right next. And um, don't give any spoilers to puzzles yet until like if, if I get like super stumped on a puzzle and I totally forget how to do it. You guys can totally chime in and help me then. But uh, if we could keep the chat level to let it like a PG rating, um, we're all going to have fun so it's appropriate for everyone. No spoilers, guys. That's right, no spoilers. Thanks, you guys. I've got so I tried to put together an outfit that was kind of similar to Maya's. Now, Maya is the character is a character in the game, as you will learn. Um, she's wearing like a blue and black butterfly shirt. This is the closest I could come to it. This is more floral, so I tried. I tried, and she she had her hair in a bun too. Fashion moment. So, okay. You guys can hear me okay? Yes, I changed the poster back here. This is now the final scene poster. Last time I had the Secret of Shadow Ranch poster there. So, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, where are you guys all right now? What region of the world are you hailing from? <laughs> I'm gonna put on my super fashionable, huge um, headphones, if I can talk. <laughs> Norway, really? Wow. Now, see, Sean views you, oh, sorry, copycat94, CA, does that mean Canada or California? <laughs> oh, and just FYI, um, these videos will be on Twitch later. And we're also going to upload them all to YouTube, so you can watch them again later. And um, one of the new things that Twitch is doing lately is they're including the Twitch feed, your chat feed, uh, is going to be included with the recording. I'm not sure if that includes us now or not. We shall see after the recording is done and you can replay it. So are we ready to get going? 
I haven't played this game in a while. This is actually uh, one of my favoriteest. Actually, it is my favorite classic game because I personally I really like I really like the theater theme because I love theaters in real life. I love to explore theaters, but that's just me. Oh, also, I'm in the middle of reading the actual book that this game was loosely based on. There are some differences, and I'll explain them along the way so you don't have to read the book. Um, I'm only like maybe halfway through, but I'll share these little tidbits with you later. And throughout the next couple days, I might share, I might share a few other things as well. Um, I need a notebook. That's always important. A notepad here. This ought to help. Okay, let us get going. Here we go. Are you ready? Nancy Drew Fan 16. Yes, I remember you. Welcome back. Glad to have you. Oh, and you guys, um, to, to share the love and get other people to come in, um, tweet. Tweet uh, with us with a, with a hashtag Nancy Drew and then send a link, include a link to uh, our Twitch feed that we're twitching. We're, we are streaming live. I can't even talk today. Forgive me. We'll get through this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to open up the game. Alright, just a quick uh, quick test here. Can you guys... How's the balance of the music to my voice? Is the game music too loud? That's the first question. And while I'm talking... Um, yeah, currently we are only selling the t-shirts. Uh, right now, merchandise. The Amazon t-shirts. Long story with that, I'll share that with you later. Dallas, Texas, yay! Okay, music is a bit loud. You say it's good, you say it's good. My voice is fine. It's a bit loud, okay. Uh, let's see. Game setup. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Let's Party. Let's try that. How does that sound? Oh yeah, copy. You you can retweet our tweet. We that'll be just easier for you guys if you were to do that. Uh, we tweeted not too long ago. It's got the it's got the link in there, so you can share that. Better, good. Okay, great. We're good with volume. Let's go ahead and start our mystery. Okay, um, I could do junior detective. I could do senior detective. I usually play on senior or master because I love hard puzzles. But for the sake of time, I'm gonna go with junior, which I know is like your guys' favorite level. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's premiere of the new Brady Armstrong movie, Vanishing Destiny. It's the last screening ever at the Royal Palladium. This place has been a landmark for almost a century. And now, in just three days, it's going to be demolished. I wish I could have seen the theater back in the 20s before it was turned into a movie house. All the great magicians performed here, even Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini. There's a lot of public opposition to the loss of this historic building. Rumor has it local activists are planning to stage a big protest out front tonight. The theater will be closed when we arrive, but they'll let us in since Maya is covering the story for the university newspaper. Oh boy, a press pass sure does come in handy. Maya told me she has an interesting lead, and we're on our way to interview Brady Armstrong about the controversy now. I know he's one of your favorite Hi, stars. Brady. Stay tuned. Maya always gets the full scoop. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Vanishing Destiny. Day one. Okay, Nancy, here I go. Cross your fingers, there's a story behind this door. Go get him, Scoop. Meet you in the lobby. Testing. <laughs> testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Think I'll go check out the snacks. <whistles> that sounds like Maya. Help! Nancy! I'm coming, Maya. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where's the jerk? Where is he? I see nothing. There is nothing here. Hello? Listen carefully. Ooh, if they look. knock the theater down, the girl goes with it. It's coming what? from five. Who is this? Hello? See? Hello? 
I'm in four. That was coming from the women's dressing room is five. It's coming from the women's dress dressing room. Dressing room. I can't. I can't. You'll never get away with this. Do you hear me? Hello. You're messing with the wrong girls, whoever you are. She's a reporter, and I'm a detective, and we don't scare easy. Um, this is Joseph Hughes, the caretaker. I'm looking for Brady Armstrong. He said he'd be there. Who's this? And what's all the excitement? My friend has disappeared from Brady's dressing room. I heard her scream. I think she's been kidnapped. Now, now, please try to calm down and tell me what's going on. What's your name, dear? My name is Nancy Drew. Maya Wynn is my friend, and she's gone. I was out in the hall when I heard her scream. I don't know how they could have taken her. Disappeared from the men's dressing room? What makes you think she was taken? I just received a threatening call saying if I don't stop the theater demolition, I'll never see her again. Whoa. They must have taken her through that secret passageway. Holy smokes. And you're on an inside line. That call must have come from inside the building. We gotta act quick. You check out the secret passageway. I'll make sure all the exits are locked, and then I'll come find you. That was coming from three, hey projection you. room. No groupies in the dressing rooms. But since you're such a rascally fan, what would you say to a signed autograph from yours truly? Oh, I'm a rascally fan. I could strain you for a neck. I'm sorry, I should be keeping this PG. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Take a breath and pinch yourself because it's really happening. Brady Armstrong in the flesh. <clears throat> Star of Vanishing Destiny? Go ahead, faint. I'll catch you. Uh, yeah, I'm here to faint over you. I'm Nancy Drew, starring in a real life emergency here. I need to find my friend Maya Wynn. Remind me not to appoint you president of my <laughs> fan club. So what was your friend doing in my dressing room? Weren't you expecting her? I thought she emailed you to set up an interview for her article. All my email goes through Simone. She reads it, she writes back. Control issues, you know? Off the record, any message that says love Brady is just a big electronic smooch from her. Simone, is that your agent? Simone Mueller, CEO of my life. Uh, I mean, my agent. Focus on being wholesomely smoldering, she says, and leave the rest to me. So I do. She's been setting up Premier HQ in the women's dressing room. Haven't you heard her snarling at people on the phone? Snarling? No. So, you didn't hear a girl screaming a few minutes ago? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. I heard Maya scream. When I got here, she was gone, vanished. And then I got a creepy phone call from the kidnapper. But where could they have taken her? What did they say? They said they need to comb your hair. You need to comb your hair. I think they escaped through a secret passageway. Secret I'm going to have to search this room. Sure thing. How can I help? The caretaker was looking for you. See if you can help him. Roger. Roger. Oh yeah, because I'm so flattered by his presence. I know, Brady Armstrong. He's such a heartthrob. Time to explore. All right. Yay. This is like the best time ever in a game. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. A lever. Once you find a lever, you gotta pull the lever. I know, the old graphics of these games. Classic. It's like the cutting edge of the 1990s. Actually, it was early 2000s. Excuse me. You guys recognize this? This was used in several of our older games as well. Stay tuned for danger. Message of Haunted Mansion. This was in the prop room. Stay tuned for danger. It's also in uh, The Secret of Shadow Ranch, which we saw last time. What did that lever do? A magic wand. Because why not? We're Nancy Drew. We take things. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't open up that. Oh, that was odd. Can't open it up because there's boxes in the way. So apparently it's not important enough. Look at all this stuff. 
No, that's right. There's nothing important right here. In the books, it's not Maya Wynn who was kidnapped. It was Bess Marvin. Bess wanted to go in and say hi to Brady um, because he actually went to their old school. He's originally from River Heights. And the game, in the book, this theater is in River Heights. So Bess goes in, she gets taken. It's not Maya. Look, a secret passage. I want one of these in my own home. The snake was here. This was before Sunny June existed. Or else it could have said Sunny was here. K loves T. I wonder who that was. Also, fun fact, the voice of Maya was, um, the voice belongs to the wife of one of the artists who was here at the time. John's wife. I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. Can't you see I'm on the phone here? My friend's been kidnapped! My friend's been kidnapped! Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. Problems? No stylist? But this is an emergency! I said, scram. Scram. Get lost. Okay, okay. Note. Simone is in here in the women's dressing room. The threatening phone call came from here. That phone right here is where it came from. So either she saw something or she was totally oblivious because she could have missed it. Well, she noticed when I came out of the wardrobe. Hmm. Bookshelf. This right here is a Her Interactive mug with our old, old logo on it. A harp. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, look, a moose. Old files. Hmm, what's... Ooh. Oh, look, another one of our mugs. Uh, let's see. This, uh, a lot of these props, and you'd recognize this one, too. This hat was in the prop room of the final scene. I mean, not the final scene. Uh, stay tuned for danger. Oh, that's, that's, that's lovely. This place is like falling apart. Okay, so if they she came through the secret passageway, then the only way out is to come through here. Where are we? Right, we're wait, we're, we're looking for Joseph Hughes, right? The guy who just called us. A crate? Let's look. <gasps> look! Come on, Nancy, you're strong. Or you could throw your back out. That's fine. You're Nancy. You'll live. Phone. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, should we mess this all up? Tasha Bree, your senior quote was, it's locked. That's a good one. Yeah, copycat. Mary Poppins bag. That's pretty much the prop room. Everything. Clunk. What was that? Well, you know, Nancy Drew's bag is like a Mary Poppins bag. She puts in the most craziest things. Ah, oh, we got it hooked. In her bag, and can you imagine? There's some really big things that she puts in her bag. I don't even... How, bag is, how big is Nancy's bag? It is like a Mary Poppins bag. Nancy's just carrying around this huge sack. Oh, we could play a really... I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna play it safe. Tighten it really well. Trap doors, you guys! Secret passageways? Yeah, so I went... I was in the men's dressing room, and then I came, went through the secret passageway to the women's dressing room. And then exited to the backstage. Where am I? I'm down below stage now. And there is a safe underneath the stairs. Which I don't really know what the combination is. So I'm going to come back to it later. 
Ooh. The amazing Monty. Prepare to be creeped out. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Ha <laughs> ha. Captive girl, just uh, re refresh your browser. Or maybe you can open it up in another browser. If you keep breaking up like that. <laughs> yes. 15 colored ponies. Leia. Find the ace back. of spades. Keep your eye on the card. I always think I can get this right, but I think it's actually random. Yay! Congratulations! I am so good at You've the rank game. The magician. Don't forget to collect your winnings. <laughs> but wait. Your audience will be dazzled. Dazzled. Flash paper. Every magician keeps some handy. So if you guys become a magician, this is like, you know, like the basic things that you have to keep in your pockets. <laughs> I better save this for when it's really important. Monty! Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Uh, he's been decapitated. Sorry, this is no longer a PG game. Decapitation counts as rated T for teen game. Oh, there's nothing else very fascinating in here. So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna look for Joseph Hughes because that's who I was looking for in the first place. Yeah, I know. Phantom of, Phantom of the Opera is a great movie if you're interested in theaters. Ooh! A door. The theater! The auditorium! The house! If it's technically called a house. Oh, look! Money! 1965. I'll take that. Hmm. Box seats. How nice. Rufus. Smoke and mirrors. Brown. Okay. Nice stash. Very, very distinguished, buddy. Frank Chapau. Dizzy Notion. <laughs> that kind of sounds like one of those funky names that was in um, the book in Legend of the Crystal Skull. You know, those puns, those name puns, like Just in Time. This is Dizzy Notion. American Society of Magicians would like to thank Harry Houdini for his great gener generosity. Harry Houdini, the master of magic. Metamorphosis that dares to boggle me human mind with bird cages. Look at these old fun movie posters. Real live animals. Animal. Animal. <laughs> there he is. The king of chains. <laughs> Thornton Hall is carrier. Zagad the Magnificent. Magi Master Magician. The Watery Grave. Interesting. Holiday Special. Zagad. Madame Liz Lizardo, Lady of the Night. Oh, oh, the Royal Platinum. Oh, okay, this is us right here. <laughs> Harry Houdini is challenged by J.J. Thompson, entrepreneur and owner of the Royal Palladium Theater. Witness a once-in-a-lifetime event right here in St. Louis as the masterful Houdini is plunged into the watery grave and faces the most impossible escape of his career for the cash reward of $50,000, which was a huge amount of money back then. I mean, it's still huge now, but that's huge -er. The 3rd of March, 1925, which would have been tomorrow, many years ago. Tickets are limited. 
So the owner of this theater challenged him to something that he thought he couldn't do. Yeah, what are you guys' favorite games? We're in the main auditorium. Ooh, movie posters. Oh, look. That's Brady. It's a much nicer outfit than I think what he was wearing. In Vanishing Destiny. What was the name of the, the show in the book? Oh, okay. In the book, it wasn't called Vanishing Destiny. It was a sci-fi action movie um, with a little bit of romance in there. It was called Night of the Venus Moon. Yeah, it was going to premiere at the at the, uh, the Royal Palladium in the book. Who's this camo dude? No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Teeny boppers. First I'm called a rascally fan and now I'm a teeny bopper. What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you here to worship at the screen of Brady Charmstrong? Charmstrong? Oh, that's cute. I came to see the premiere if that's what you're asking. That doesn't make me a worshiper. You are what you consume, and that movie's nothing but processed cheese. Every ticket sold is a vote for corporate cannibalism. And nobody cares now, but one day, abracadabra, we're gonna wake up in the United States of Generica. Who are you? And what's with the doom and gloom? Welcome, Emma. I'm a painter. Glad you could join us. New person on Twitch. Yay! <laughs> Well, everyone assumes I'm a groupie because I'm here for Brady Armstrong and the premiere of the show. And there's supposed to be a lot of people to come in and watch the last showing here in the theater before it gets torn down. So, and Brady Armstrong was supposed to make an appearance before in, in the middle of an intermission and stuff like that. I'm Nancy Drew, and I think I need to call the police on you because that is a fashion crime. I'm Nancy Drew. I think I need to call the police. What are you calling them for? A little taste of your tax dollars going bad? Welcome, Boomer Aladdin Jas ja Jasmine. <laughs> Boomer Aladdin Jasmine, welcome. Glad you could join us. Well, you're a breath of optimism. What's this had it all about? Haven't you heard? The battle is on. There's a human chain forming out front as we speak. But all that can wait. It's obvious you got a situation. So what's up? So what's up? Hey, did you guys recognize his voice? He, he, the same voice actor did the voice of um, Monty, but we just saw that machine down in the building, down in the basement. Same actor. Nancy Drew fan sixteen, yes. The merchandise store. We are switching. We're in the middle of sw switching merchandise vendors. I don't have any more details than that to share with you, but we're in the middle of doing that. So keep, stay tuned, there will be more information later. Anyways, Mr. Camouflage with a five o'clock shave. My friend's been kidnapped. I've got to alert the police and then start searching this place. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? What's the demands? Let's bug him about his, his English his grammar. Don't you mean, what are the demands? Who are you, my freshman English teacher? Yes. Well, look at him. He just posed in that position. <laughs> Sorry, but in my experience, people take you more seriously if you speak properly. So what's the demands? <laughs> Correct yourself. Ah. Doesn't it bug anyone else when someone uses poor grammar? I get I get annoyed when people say there 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 or right up there there there. The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Do you guys play the game so much or so often that you have these memorized? These these uh <laughs> dialogues. <laughs> Lauren Nicole, no, your internet can't go out. 
You've got to stay with us. Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. Oh, so this is just a pretend kidnapping. I never would have guessed. Maya's scream sounded so real. She'll be okay. Trust me. I'm not about to take that chance. If you need a phone, there's an outside line in the ticket booth. Gee, thanks, mister. <laughs> what <are you> <clears throat> Outside line in the ticket booth. <laughs> this counts as a ticket booth. Oh, look, another phone. Royal Palladium. See, this is this is one of the silly things about these old games. Nancy doesn't have a cell phone. So I have to write down these actual numbers. St. Louis Police Department is 314-555-1422. Yeah, some, some, someone, someone's back here. Oh, this phone. Ooh, I could call Ned. Or Bess. What would Nancy do? What would she do first? Call the police first? Call her friends first? Let's call the police. And then we'll call, like, Bess. Um, we gotta remember to type in the one here. Everyone gets that mixed up. One, three, one, four, five, 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 one, four, two, two. <clears throat> We're sorry, your call cannot be completed what? as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Okay, so I was wrong on this. Maybe it's a local number, so I'll just type in... I don't have to type in the, um, the area code. Let's try that. St. Louis Police Department. St. Louis Police there we Department. Go. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Missing persons? That was fast. Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. What exactly did you hear? My friend went what into a I dressing room. I was out in the hall. And I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. Physical description? She's Asian American, I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the voice? Was it a man or a woman? It was spooky. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. No suspects. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. I don't know how to contact them. Okay, miss. I'll file this report. After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person, then begin to investigate. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped. Unlikely. With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours. How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. 
Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force, it's 24 hours. Thanks, Sergeant. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye. So are you guys all having issues with uh, the feed? Out of curiosity, what browser are you guys using? Let's call Ned. Um, I am not sure, you guys, if this is the same voice as Dwayne Powers or not. I have to look that one up. Oh, and welcome, BC Photon. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy! It's about time! How's St. Louis? Something terrible has happened. Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed, and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh my gosh. Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? I received a threatening phone call. Somebody wants desperately to stop this demolition, and they're holding Maya as a bargaining tool. That's terrible. Have you called the police? I called, all right, but get this. According to standard procedure, they can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not convinced it's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Alakazam? Yeah, Sergeant Ramsey says it could be a prank. Or Maya might have just taken off or something. Sergeant Ramsey obviously doesn't know Wash U's most dedicated reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. Do Maya's parents know? They always travel this time of year, remember? And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been so personally attached to a case. Call me back when you know more. I'll get a hold of George and Ned and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she's got you on the rescue mission. Oh, and then she just hangs up. Yeah, we 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 would have the same voice actresses as Bess, for Bess and George every time if we could, but sometimes they're just not available for the recording of these games. I know, way back then, we had to switch back and forth a lot of times, and yeah, Bess sounds like George, and vice versa in this game later. Uh -oh. Uh, let's find Joseph. The Moose Next Door. That sounds like a riveting movie. Um, Boomer, if you're uh, if you're not sure what browser you're using, it's likely Internet Explorer if you're on a computer. <laughs> Leia. Lay? Is that is it pronounced Lay? PC Photon, no, I have not met Lonnie. You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? I have, however, met um, one of our voice actresses for Bess uh, from The Shattered Medallion, like that voice of Bess. She's also the same voice in Alibi and Ashes. And I have met um, the voice actress for George in some of the earlier games too. But she became became kind of famous and moved to New York, so we can't have her again as a voice actress for George because she's a big actress now, which good for her. Hello, Joe with suspenders. I found the secret passageway all right, but no sign of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. Well, what about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. I did that. I already spoke to them. According to their policy, Maya's not officially missing yet. If I want their help before tomorrow, I have to come up with some evidence of foul play. But this theater's gonna be torn down in three days. Did you tell them that? Boomer, Aladdin, Jasmine, I have not met the voice of Ned. His name is Scott Cardi. And he's he's been the voice of Ned since game four. In game three, he was the voice of Charlie. They say it's unlikely that the kidnapper would keep her in the building. Well, I checked all the outside doors and 
and they're locked up tight. Only folks who've been in the theater all day are Brady and Simone, you and Maya, Nicholas Falcone, and myself. So those are our suspects. Thanks, Joe. Those are the... Oh, you're suggesting it must be one of these people? Well, I've only got this one pair of eyes, so I can't say 100%. Did you notice anything suspicious? I was up here in the projector room, sound testing for the premiere. But I'd be disappointed in your detective work if you didn't put me through the ringer like a regular suspect. Lego Freak. Yes, I have met Jonah von Spreken. He's like one of my favorite actors of, uh, of the whole Nancy Drew series because he's done so many voices over the years. It's crazy how many voices he's done. I actually have... It's not a very good picture of me. This is why I don't share the picture, but I have a selfie of myself with Jonah von Spreken. He is the voice of Frank Hardy and Harlan Bishop in Haunted Carousel and the voice of Miles Magnificent Memory Machine and Andy Jason of Whale World and a few others actually. He So Joe was up in the projector room. Simone Mueller is the only person I haven't been able to talk to yet. Well they sure grow mornery out there in California don't they? <laughs> Well, I've dealt with some pretty tough customers, Joseph. I just hope someone has warned her about me. She's a little intense. Probably a showbiz thing, but I don't guess anything in L.A. has prepared her for the likes of Nancy Drew. Yes, the likes of Nancy Drew. Be forewarned. Well said. Now, I need a map of the theater. Is there a floor plan or a set of blueprints I could look at? Try calling county administration. The records division keeps that type of stuff. I bet a blueprint would show secret passages that even I've never found. Ask for the original plans, not the ones from the 56 remodel. The 56 remodel, so he knows a thing or two about the building. What was the 56 remodel all about? J.J. Thompson, the original owner, died in 1950. His kids inherited it and decided that movie theaters were the wave of the future. Anyway, I spent the last 40-something years finding my way around this place, so let me know if I can help. Good. You are going to be very helpful later. Ooh, captive girl, you're going to make some cookies. Can I have some? Thanks, Joseph. Don't let the turkeys get you down. I've got, I'm a painter. I've got Girl Scout cookies too, but I left them at home. Ugh, cookies sound great right now. A uh, sink. Fascinating. There's a phone that he called from. Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. No touchy. What's over here? A book. Clayton, projector care and operation. Yeah, 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 focus knob. Make sure it's focused. You should... There was a key here. Ooh, a key, a key. Oh, do I have to close all these pages in order to back out? Oh, captive girl, I don't like oatmeal. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I like oatmeal. I don't like raisins in the cookies. So you can have your oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> I mean, if you make them good, I'm sure I will. I'll, I'll sure I'll eat them. A light bulb. I'll just take one of those. Because, because. No, I guess I can't go up there. How do I close this? Like that. Okay. And out we go. Don't let the turkeys get you down. Yuck. Balcony seating. That was awesome. Oh, how ornate. What a fancy theater. Uh oh, this one's missing. This one's missing. I just said that, Nancy. I just said that. <gasps> Look! I can't quite reach. Shall I? Shall I do it? Shall I try to reach? I'll reach. I'm gonna reach. <laughs> <laughs> Second chance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I enjoy those. This one's missing. Identify. I can't quite reach. Because we're Nancy, yes. Hi, sheeps! Welcome to the stream! 
You don't got much to do up here. Dramatic screaming. <laughs> okay, um, right. I needed to talk to Simone and question her. Ooh, what's this? The bee's knees. Jazz machine. I'm sorry, Nancy Drew fan. I shouldn't laugh at Nancy. That's very rude of me. <laughs> um, oh yes, this was very much similar to the, um, that Roadrunner Coyote game in, uh, how do I do this? Can I do it? I can't do it with arrow keys, okay. In Secret of Shadow Ranch. That must be me. Move the note to the lower left, in the lower left corner, okay, that's me, to the dancers in the upper right. And there are walls in my way. Ha 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 ha. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sorry, I can't get comfortable here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Aw, nuts. Let's try this again. There we go. He just had he just had to go in the right direction. Ta da! Yeah, I see that. Uh, the Royal Palladium Theater with J.J. Thompson's face. Yay! Victorious. Oh, and it says that we need to refill the prizes, so there's no point in playing again because I'm not going to get anything. So somehow we need to get that gear, just, you know, to replace it. Let's explore here, because we haven't yet. What a nice big theater. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey. Look at this. Somebody didn't clean this up. Ick. 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 What if I use this stickiness in my stick to stick gum and get the piece that's far away? Go. Look at that. J.J. Thompson had his face carved into all the places. And that's not a little bit creepy when you have red eyes staring at you in the dark theater. Oi. I've always wondered that this door would probably be like the door to go up the stairs to the other um, balconies. Tasha Bree, you're gonna miss tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. You can re you can watch it later after it's been uploaded. Nebraska. See, this is supposed to be like a parody of Oklahoma, but Oklahoma might have been like a trademark or something name, so we couldn't use it in there. Oklahoma, where the wind and wonderful city. I think it's not a wonderful life, right? I don't know. I don't remember. I think I'm going the wrong way. Brigadine, huh? <laughs> Which is supposed to be like Brigadoon. For those of you who know theater, there's the young J.J. Thompson. Wooly Hammer, play on. There he is. Old J.J. Yeah, Tasha Bree, you wouldn't be able to be a part of the chat group. Yeah, that's not the direction I wanted to come from. I looked at that. Going this way. Um, was it this? No, no, she's in the, 
women's dressing room. Simone is the only... Do we knock? Hello? I warned you. Come in, whether you're dressing or not. Nancy Drew, Simone Mueller. Don't worry, Vanishing Destiny is off. We've got bigger fish to fry. We're frying fish. So you heard about Maya? Of course. I mean, a kidnapping? Right out of my star's dressing room? The premiere is small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. Uh... I don't think we should get the press into this before the police have had a chance to investigate. <laughs> Where are you from? River Heights. Why? Yes, precisely. <laughs> River Heights. <laughs> Listen, doll. I'm from L.A. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. We'll find your friend, or Brady Armstrong will, and when he does, every girl in America will wish she'd been kidnapped instead of Maya What's-Her-Name. She drives me crazy. She doesn't care. She's so mean. <laughs> River Heights. In the book... Oh, you guys, this is actually... A good time to take a quick break because I need to switch out some things here text tech wise so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to a five minute break and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes okay
be helpful if I turn the mic on. All right, we're going to get back into our game, you guys. Uh, BC Photon, Photon, I saw your tip about um, putting like a timer up on the screen. I like that idea. I might implement that next time. All right. And back to our game. All right. Hi, Royal Tower. I can't believe you. No girl wants to be kidnapped, ever. I'm proposing a business alliance. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. We don't have to see eye to eye. We don't have to see eye to eye. Okay. She'll be threatening. Oh, this has happened before. If you've played Treasure in the Royal Tower, and if you um, go underneath the elevator, if you don't hurry up with the puzzle, you'll get crushed. I'd rather be crushed by an elevator. Honey, you've got spunk. Ever consider acting? This girl power thing is red hot right now. Of course, we'd have to think of a stage name. Nancy Drew is so utterly forgettable. BC Photon, you say SNAZ. It's a program for a timer. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, I like how super sassy Nancy is in this. This is great. Joseph says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't you tell that little gray troll that I think Welcome he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump. Bored? That's my comment. This place is not bored. I just don't care for cool old buildings. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Oh, please, Nancy. I was on the phone doing business. But if I'm ever hard pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. <laughs> How long have you been Brady's agent? Uh, I discovered him on an electric spring morning six years ago. He was working the original Coney Dog stand on Sunset <laughs> Boulevard. It was pure, pure luck. luck. I, I was, was craving, craving an old beef frank, frank at 7 a.m. He's, He's been, been the jewel in, in my crown, crown ever since. since. Let's be snarky. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Um, Nancy and Ned, uh, we are aiming for mid to be released in the fall, but we don't have an exact release date yet. Still working on it. That's all the information I really have to share with you at the moment, too. Okay, we've questioned Simone. In the book, Simone Mueller is not a girl. It's a guy. And his name is Simon Mueller. And he wears crazy outfits. Same type of personality, though. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go question Brady. How do we... No. Yeah, it'd be really great if we could have the game done by Halloween. That'd be so cool. It'd be so appropriate, too. Yoo-hoo! No answer. Okay. We're going in. Why didn't you answer the door, Brady? You're too busy in your book. Put your book down. Talk to me. Thank you. Any news? Don't you want to know what Maya's article was about? Well, uh, I thought you said it was about me. About me? What else could it be? Well, Brady, you are the center of the universe, but actually, her article was about the theater. Then what did she want to talk to me for? I'm an actor, not a politician. She never told me what her angle was. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look around in here? Be my guest. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Bye, BC Me? Photon. You think I kidnapped Maya and then breezed in here just four minutes later? Where would I hide her? In my back pocket? Just answer the question, Prince, Prince Charmstrong. Charmstrong? I picked that up from Nicholas. Now please proceed. I... well, I was late getting back from a haircut. I... Uh, this is hard for me. I think my hairline might be receding. It's miserable. 
Simone's gonna go through the roof. Oh no. Talk to you later, Brady. Don't be a stranger. Okay, so out of the four characters that we've met so far in this game, who's your favorite? Because they all seem to be really annoying or really rude. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. What did Joseph tell us to do again? I wasn't quite paying attention to him. I, f I, f I forget. Well, let's go talk to him again. The old guy's your favorite. Joe. Joseph. Hughes. Hey there, Nancy. Oh, Joe. So, where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're gonna put one on the map. I got some money saved. Gotta go now. a girl. <laughs> Should sue the hairdresser. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're up on the second balcony. Might as well stop by and pick up something. Use our magical wand and stick a gun. Ew, to get the gear. Cool. You put it back? This one's missing. I can't put it back. This one's missing. But this. This one's missing. Nope, I guess we're just gonna keep it, you know. We're just fine by me because we're Nancy. We keep things. How many of you guys have not played this game or seen this game before? Like, this is a new game to you. Yeah, why didn't I call 911 to begin with? Easy. <laughs> You've reached the St. Louis Police Department. This is a non-emergency line. Calls will be answered in the order they were received. All operators are busy helping other callers. We will be with you as soon as possible. Your patience is appreciated. Wow. <sighs> You've reached the St. Louis Police Department. Uh, this is a not. Never mind. Let's call their main number then. This is why we don't call them 911. We go straight to the. So let's go straight to the source. <laughs> this is my jam, the Countess. Yes, it is. You've reached the St. Louis Police Department. This is a non emergency line. Calls will be answered in the order they were received. Uh, okay, fine. They're not answering. But you're right. Yes, thank you for that tip. Games are awesome. I have some cool gears, and there was a puzzle I have not solved yet. I should go and try it. Let's just brute force try it. I mean, we don't have any clues to it. But that's not going to stop us. <gasps> I'm on stage! Da -da 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 Dancing. On stage. Nala Bay Bill, I do have to do something, don't I? I have things to do. Yes, thank you. Thank you, games are awesome. You're very helpful. Okay, um... Well, Monty suggested the spades, because Ace of Spades is valuable to him, so maybe since he's been here long enough, he's kind of tied in with the theater, or try the spades, these right here. That's a hard sound to hear.
Nancy Drew 1001. Welcome to the stream. I'm not sure who this that the the um the phone call lady. Uh. Oh, puzzle. I love this puzzle. That actress was. I don't remember. Uh. This picture was in Abby's room in Message in a Haunted Mansion. Start with the easy parts first. Um, okay, that doesn't go there. Um, no, that, 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 oh, that goes. Okay, that looks, that looks better. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's try that. That there. Yeah, the lady that voiced on uh, the answering machine, I don't remember who that actress was. It'll say in the credits when we get there. <laughs> okay, um, that looks good. These need to be switched because this doesn't go there. Never mind. This goes there. This, let's try this one. That looks good. Nope. Ooh, we have a little bit of bug there. <gasps> Yay! Something's missing here. Something's missing here. And turn it. Yay! <laughs> a key. I don't know what for, but it's a key. We always keep keys. Dear Mr. Houdini, congratulations on your latest, latest unbelievable feat. Never have I seen the crowd at the Royal Palladium so enthralled by performer. Stupendous. Has anyone else used that word? Stupendous. Honestly, I was assured that the watery grave was inescapable, even for the master such as yourself. Really, if I had any notion of re of risking my money, I might have not have offered so grandiose a reward. After all, what man is made of money? Isn't that right, Mr. Houdini? My point is, well, I must admit that my cash flow is a little tight at the moment. More specifically, I do not have the 50000 available to give you at this time. The theater is young but bound for glory, I'm sure you'll agree. And my bank account is still recovering from the building expenses. I'm sure you understand, sir. Oh boy. However, this letter is an announcement of golden opportunity, Mr. Houdini, not one of gloomy regret. In lieu of cash, and in accordance with my lawyer's counsel, I am prepared to offer you a reward far more valuable than cash. I would like to make you my business partner by transferring 50% ownership of the Royal Palladium Theater into your name. Just think of it. Together we can make the Royal Palladium the foremost venue in the world for magic. Stupendous! Certainly a man as brilliant and, brilliant and worldly as yourself will recognize this as an irresistible offer and realize that there is no need to squabble over the petty details of your reward or invite the press to make a mountain of a, out of a molehill in this affair. So, please sign below and return this document to me if you agree to proceed with the transfer of 50% ownership of the theater into your name. In doing so, you will also be agreeing not to sue me or publicly defame my name. A detailed contract will follow. Stupendous. And he signed it. J.J. Thompson and Harry Houdini, 50-50 owners of the Royal Palladium. That is fascinating. All right. Word of the day, yes. Stupendous. You guys talking about the games? Oh yeah, have you heard the, the news? There's, um, if you in case you haven't, there is going to be, CBS is going to, um, uh, be making an Nancy Drew TV show that's going to be airing this fall. 
And this last weekend they announced um, that they cast Nancy Drew, Ned Nickerson, and um, George Fain. What do you guys think? Have you seen the, um, who was cast? Do you have opinions? Let's try the cops again. Maybe Sergeant Ramsey is off his donut break. reach the St. Louis Police Department. This is a non-emergency line. Oh. Okay, games are great. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. I forget what I'm supposed to do. Nancy, what's the 411? The 411? Come on, Nancy. That's vintage slang. You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. Oh, the information. Exactly. 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 So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about it. This theater's a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? Uh, Boomer, Aladdin, Jasmine, you're, you might just need to refresh the browser. It's probably an internet connection. Uh, I, I've read just as much as you have, uh, you guys, about the, um, the TV show. And I'm going to try to keep an open mind. I mean, there's been so many different versions of Nancy, um, portrayals of Nancy. There's the Bunny to Granville version from the 1940s. There's um, the Tracy Ryan version from a Canadian TV show in the 90s. There's um, Pamela Sue Martin from the 1970s TV show. There's Emma Roberts from the 2007-2008 movie. Um, what am I? What else? Oh yeah, and Maggie Lawson from the 2002 Disney t Made for TV movie. So there's been so many different kinds of Nancys out there. Um, if this is a modern. Uh, future Nancy from her 30s, I'd be interested to see if she would maintain her same character and style um, and integrity of, you know, who Nancy is. So we'll see. I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? I was outside, harnessing public outrage. Ask anyone. Copycat. Yeah, I know a lot about Nancy Drew. I read, I've read all of the books. I could, I could bridle. I do a lot of research and I do a lot of reading about the authors and about the history in the books. And I've seen all, I'm still working on the Canadian TV show. I've only seen a few episodes. Do you know what they plan to build on this spot after the theater is gone? Oh, it's very hush hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future. And the owner is some B Thompson, descendant of JJ Thompson, but he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. Second word of the day, baloney. So we're trying to figure out who this Wave of the Future owner, B. Thompson, is. Because he's the one who's involved with this teardown. Catch you later. Fight the power. <laughs> Summer, I like that t-shirt idea. Eat, sleep, and breathe Nancy Drew. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess you could say we've questioned everyone. Let's report our findings to the cops now. You think, you think the cops will answer? Fight the power. I need to talk to Nicholas again. Okay. You've reached the site. Yeah, I exhausted all of my conversation, but sometimes you just have to back out as a character and then talk to him again. What's up? Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. Politics is personal, but with this place, it's ultra personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby Ooh. and in the auditorium. The detail is so intricate. You just don't see this kind of artistry in new theaters nowadays. True, true. But there's more. I guess the architect owner guy, J.J. Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. 
He never paid my grandma dime one, and then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Didn't she fight it? Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with JJ, and she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that, so I guess she just had to let it go. She must have been so frustrated. Here's the kicker. After JJ sharked her on this two-year project, she was broke, and then the Great Depression hit. She could never afford to work as an artist again. What did she do instead? Louisa, Mother Serenity Falcone? Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life, but this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. It's for justice. For art. Can't you get some justice now? My family has been trying for years, but there doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Nancy, could you do me a favor? What? Maybe there's something buried in the theater. While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? If I run across the name Louisa Falcone or anything else that might help, you'll be the first to know. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. It's gonna be okay, Lauren Nicole. It's gonna be okay. I try to play it down. How goes the search? Well, that was a very fast search. I discovered lots of things since I last talked to you. I found some of JJ's personal documents inside a secret panel in the basement. Well, don't just stand there. Start breaking it down. Break down. Break down. Here it comes. I'm breaking it down for you. Did you ever hear about a challenge that JJ Thompson issued to Harry Houdini back in 1925? Yeah, and? I'm cooler than I thought. JJ put up a big reward for this Houdini challenge. He must have thought the escape was impossible, but Houdini did it, and JJ didn't have the reward money. What does this have to do with the ownership of the theater? From what I can tell, JJ had to give Harry Houdini 50% of the theater as the reward. Ha! Serves that swindler JJ right. Nancy, do you realize what this means? Enlighten me. If Thompson didn't own the whole place, then whoever inherited it from Thompson doesn't legally own the whole place either. <laughs> Which means they don't have the authority to knock this building down. We've got to find out what happened to his half of the ownership. You keep looking for Maya. I've got a laptop out in my van. I'll get online and do some research. Check back soon. He says that like a van is so cool. Which... Culturally, vans aren't cool, but I actually think vans are great because you know what? You could fit a lot of people in there and stuff. You know, taking road trips, it's excellent. Vans are good. Catch you later. Fight the power. He left. You know what that means? It means that we snoop through his stuff. I wish we could take his banana. <laughs> Ooh, St. Louis County Administration. That looks interesting. 314-555-3309. County Administration, 314-555-3309. I just said that, Nancy. <laughs> Yes, I'm a minion. Wait, did I look at this one? Humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Hadit.org. Nick Falcone. Okay. Let's call county administration. Uh, Joseph. Nancy, it's Joseph. Why do you see this? Come to the projection room. That scared me. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys were asking about whether if we're gonna see Nancy, like we have uh, seen the Hardy Boys in the past. Maybe. I mean, we don't have any plans currently to show Nancy. What do you guys think? Would you want us to show Nancy? I mean, we did with Codes and Clues. 
Nancy, take a look at this. <gasps> Where did you find it? Brady found it. This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? I should think so. Give the police a call. And then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. No. Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. You won't be any help to my if you get too tired to think. Okay, you guys. I won't show Nancy. Can't promise in the future, though. But we, we currently don't have any plans of showing Nancy, so no worries. It's okay. Well, I guess you have a point there. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. Use the phone in the ticket booth. Report to the cops. Um, chicken bot. We have do not have a release date set for midnight in Salem yet. Tasha Bree, you got your your girlfriend Beth excited for midnight in Salem? Awesome. It'll be a while before it gets released. Ooh, let's count. Let's, let's call County Admin first. Records, Madeline speaking. Hi, I'm looking for the blueprints for the Royal Palladium Theater. Do you have them on file? Are you a county employee? No, just a citizen on a mission. Okay. Well, we do keep blueprints on file. Let's see. The computer says there are two sets for the Palladium, 1923 and 1956. Do you have a preference? 1923, please. The originals. Would you like to hold while I retrieve them? Sure, thanks. Yes, I'm still here. It's very strange, ma'am. They're gone. Gone? You mean someone checked them out? Oh, we don't allow people to check them out. You can bring the blueprints to our reading room and study them there, but they're not supposed to leave the building. I can't imagine where they could be. Hold on, let me see if Charles knows. <laughs> What am I gonna do if I don't get these blueprints? Ma'am, this is so strange. Charles says some guy was just in here looking at them a few days ago. What did he look like? Hold on. <laughs> Charles, just pick up the phone and talk to me. Hello? Charles said the guy had a hat on. Uh -huh. He never really got a look at the guy. Was he young or old? Hey, Charles, young or old? Energetic is all Charles remembers. Hmm, okay, well, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm working on some things over here at the Royal Palladium. Could you do a search for the blueprints? Sure thing. I'll put in a find request. Call back in five to seven business days. Next week? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of time. Is there any way to expedite the search? I'm afraid not. The guy who does our misplaced material searches just returned from a month of paternity leave, and he's swamped. I see. This is urgent? Yes, it's urgent, all right. But I'll figure something out. Thanks, Madeline. Good luck. Bye. Games are awesome? Yes, I am aware of the glitch in this game. These games are old, and they weren't tested as thoroughly as we do with them now. But that's because nowadays we have a lot more stuff in the puzzles, in the games and puzzles and stuff. Okay, we're gonna call the cops with our new found information about the badge. <laughs> I know skip button is Same a new thing we added. Department. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold missing persons, this is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have, have the, the evidence. evidence you asked for. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. 
It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass. And she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the pass damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who Ugh. decides to take a leave of absence. The vast yes. majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddad is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is that right? And last year, there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon here with this whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. So you aren't gonna have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly <laughs> conduct, trespassing... I know, he's yada, very yada, chatty. Yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky Slimed. situation like no one I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal, royal pain in the neck. neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do either. Long story short. Why don't short. you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. Wow, yeah. Yeah, these are very lengthy conversations. Oh boy, what a long day at the at the Royal Palladium. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Eavesdropper. We'll get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. But you're a suspect. I don't trust you. <gasps> a protest. Oh, you guys, we are on day two. You know what that means? Time to save our game. Um, let's say this. I've got different save spots in here. So this is day. No, let's let's name this a stream. Um. There. How's that? Okay. We are going to, ah, there we go, back to live view here, you guys. I know, we're the end of day one, the end of stream party one. So that means we're going to be back tomorrow at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time to play day two. Thanks, you guys, for joining. Oh, and also, we have... Um, we're doing March Madness again this year. Uh, the last two years we did it on Facebook. This year we're doing it on Twitter. What's happening is that it's going to be a poll, an actual poll, which is different, um, of which which game location from that list you think is best. So you vote each day um, for one for the two options that we present to you, and then we narrow it down to what you guys determine as the best location. In the nice uh, game so far. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Yeah, big, big little jackalope here. <laughs> Sadness. Copycat will be back tomorrow. This is only one of three days. 
<laughs> Twitter polls are fun. Which is why I'm excited for them. Which means, oh yes, I need to update today's results from yesterday um, on the on the bracket list so we can keep that updated. Yay! Because we're trying out the poll system. We want to try the poll system, which is a feature in Twitter. And Facebook doesn't have any really good polls. Last time we did like either click like or click share to cast your vote. But a lot of people ended up doing both, which kind of skews the votes. So we're trying the poll now. So and it's also to give some love to the Twitter people too, so they can participate this year. So anyways, we will be back tomorrow. You guys have a good night. I'm going to close us out with a little bit of music and the slideshow, which is just the two graphics so far, the two pictures. Yep, Boomer Laden, thanks for joining us. Thanks to all you guys for joining us too and for your help. Thanks again for keeping it spoiler free for now. We'll have some new things to talk about tomorrow. You guys, stay sleuthy, fight the power. <laughs>